Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, this is kind of an unplanned video, so I didn't get ready. So I'm just going to use my little owl Olo emoji. Um, it's not really an emoji, um, it was actually custom made by Because She Shed. Um, she made this owl for me, and I love it. It's got my logo as the eyes, if you flip it upside down. Um, but anyway, shout out to her because I love my owl. Uh, so I was planning on doing a video on my reseller testing products, showing you guys new items that I have listed lately. And as I was thinking and preparing for it, I started to think I have sold a lot of items lately in less than seven days. So seven days or less. Um, I've got 30 items I'm going to show you that sold fast. Seven days or less, you guys. And I'm a pretty patient seller. Um, I usually list things kind of high, and that way I can accept offers or send out offers. Um, I have been trying to price a little more competitively, especially toys, because I know those things are selling right now. So I am just going to go through with you guys and show you 30 items that sold in seven days or less. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And it's kind of fun having things sell fast. So let's check it out together. We're going to start. Um, well, first off, I want to show you something really quick. Uh, let me pull up my screen share. Okay. So you guys, this is my reseller testing products. And what I was actually getting ready to do was um, new listings up. So from time to time on this channel, I'll, I call it reseller motivation station. And I go in and I just show you guys new items that I have listed. Um, and I was going to include some of these listings that sold fast. And then I was like, no, I'm just going to do a video. There's been so many lately. And it's always nice to see things that sell fast. So on this channel, I basically test products. But I do have some reseller content. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and checking out some of the reseller content over here, I would greatly appreciate it. I am getting super, super close to 1K subs. I'm at 841 right now. I did change my channel name to Reseller Testing Bolo Products. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to change my logo or not. What do you guys think? Change the logo or keep it? Uh, let me know in the comments. And again, if you guys can subscribe and watch some of these videos, that would help me out tremendously. All right, so we are going to start with the first item. Again, I'm showing you 30 items that sold in seven days or, or less. Some are big money, some are bread and butter, but either way, a quick sale is always a good sale. All right, so the first item I sold, this sold in less than 24 hours, you guys. It's missing the train. I pulled this out of a mystery box. Um, I could have parted this out, but I went ahead and just, it was a complete set minus the train. So I listed it together. Um, a lot of people will sell this boat individually, but I sold this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item also came out of a mystery box, and I believe I took a best offer of $14 or $15 on this. And I do have a video on my reseller testing products where I show how these work. And I link that in the description of my video. I do feel like this helps me sell my items. I think it gives me an advantage. Um, I also put the ruler in front of my items to show size. These are not the typical little people, the small ones. These are rather large. Um, they're the big zoo animals. And I have sold these before. Um, got a little bit of damage here, but I just showed it in the photos. So again, I think that one sold in a couple days. The next item that sold, unfortunately, I messed up on this one. Somebody sent me an offer of $15. Um, I had auction style or best offer and I declined and it ended up selling for $9.99 plus shipping. But I picked this up at a garage, garage sale. My cost of goods was, I think, 50 cents. So I still made money, but 15 definitely would have been better than 10. And that was a seven day auction. The next item that sold is this Nintendo uh, protective armor case. Um, it's by Nerf. Uh, I can't, I think I got this at a thrift store and I think it was a dollar, but don't quote me on that. I cannot remember. Um, 
it'll probably be in a bread and butter video. But I ended up uh, selling this for a best offer of $30. It sold in less than a week. Um, I do believe I ran it auction style first um, and it didn't sell. But as soon as I put it on um, buy it now or best offer, it sold quickly. The next item that sold was an MMA Metropolitan Museum of Art pin. It's a brooch. I just saw this at a thrift store and I just thought it was different. It was a buck, so I picked it up and it sold auction style for $33 plus shipping. And it was a seven day auction. The next item sold within a couple days. Again, I've got a video on this and I have it linked in the description. So I put it on my reseller testing Bolo products and I share it on Twitter and I share it on Pinterest. And then um, that link will take people to my um, YouTube, which has a link to my eBay store. So I don't know if that's helping me sell things or not, but this again sold super quick. It is an animated singing tree. Um, it sold for full asking price of $16.28 plus shipping. And it's by Cuddle Barn. And I got that at a garage sale. I believe it was either a dollar or 50 cents. The next item I almost didn't list. I couldn't get the thing to work. And I was like, I kept, I, the batteries I think were bad. And then I put different batteries in that weren't strong enough. And then I finally got a new set of batteries and it worked. Um, after I got it working, I realized that there were these tiny little holes. Um, you can see right there, I'm pointing to it and right here. And I'm like, oh man, um, should I just donate it? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to list it and I'm going to list it low and I'm going to see what happens. And this also has a um, video in the description. And you guys, it sold, I think, within 24 hours for $12.58 plus shipping. Um, so I was really excited about that because I almost donated it. The next item, again, sold really, really fast. I think within a day or two. It is the Disney Store TikTok Crocodile. It is um, Disney Store. It's got the patch right here. And this sold for full asking price of $19.24 plus shipping. And I didn't check my notes before I started, but I think this was a dollar, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, it'll probably be in a bread and butter video in the future. The next item is this Kurt Adler Carolyn plush, and it moves. And I do have a video down in the description. Again, some animated things sell great. Um, so this is a Christmas ornament and it's by Kurt Adler. And you, you can see here it retailed for $6.99. And I sold this for $16.10 plus shipping. And it sold really fast. And I do have another one listed that is uh, does not have the tags, the original tag attached. And I did list that one for a little less. And I also have a pig. The next item I think sold within 24 hours, it's the VTEC Switch and Go. Um, another item that I have a video in the description and this sold for $14 plus shipping. And uh, I believe that was a dollar at a thrift store. The next item sold within 24 hours also, I believe it was either 24 hours or 48 hours. It's this Loving Family Dollhouse Twin Baby. I think this came from a thrift store in a little bag of toys I got. And it sold for $14 plus shipping. These flashcards, I ended up taking a best offer of $12 and they sold really fast. Um, I believe these were down in a mystery box and they're Milton Bradley flashcards, but they are old, you guys. So super cool. The next item came from an estate sale. There's going to be a video coming out soon on this. Um, well, I don't know how soon. I'm, I'm trying to get it completed. I need to finish the editing, but, um, this guy sold much quicker than I expected for $20 and 16 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Um, that again came from an estate. So I think it was like either 50 cents or a dollar. It was kind of weird when I was checking out, I was just kind of throwing things on the table. So I wasn't completely sure what I paid for everything, but it wasn't much. Again, there's a video coming soon on that. Um, this also came from an estate sale. This was something that my husband picked up. I do believe he paid up a little bit for it. I think he paid 12. I set the price at $34.99 um, auction style. I was hoping it was going to get some bids, but it sold for that price. So he did make a little money, but I'm hoping I didn't mess up on that. 
It's a vintage Wagner Ware Sydney cast iron skillet, 1058. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents and this sold really fast. It is a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty. It was missing the bow. Um, so I went ahead and listed it very competitively and it sold very quickly. The next item also came from an estate sale. I think I had a dollar or less than these. They're the vintage Will Hold plastic brush rollers. Um, they're curlers and these sold for $25 plus shipping. The next item I almost did not buy because these little boxed items, I know that I'm going to have to take them out of the boxes, set them up, put them back in the boxes, and it's a lot of work. But this is an Avon Heavenly Blessings Nativity Set of 10. It is not a complete set, you guys. Um, so I put replacement in the title. This sold in less than seven days for $56 plus shipping. The next item is this Christmas tree. I also have a uh, video in the description. And I picked this up at a garage sale for, I believe it was $10. And I ran an auction and I had some offers on the auction, but I did not take them. And I relisted this at a buy it now and it sold in less than seven days for full asking price of $157.50 plus shipping. The next item came from the same garage sale as that tree that I just showed you. And I believe I paid $3 for these. And you can see there they've got some condition issues here. And I sold these for a best offer of $50 in less than seven days. They are Fire King, Anchor Hawking, Milk Glass, Salt and Pepper Shakers. These were a nice surprise. So um, I watch Be Carried Away, and she always talks about selling religious items. And um, I have done some in the past, but I'm really trying to... Um, to grab a few more, you know, here and there if I see them. And I saw these nuns and I thought they were really cute and they're typically painted black, um, but these were painted gold. And I was like, you know what? They're chalkware, it's a music box, they're made in Japan, I'm gonna get them. I think I paid $3, but don't quote me on that. I got them from a thrift store and they sold for $28.80 plus shipping. And I think I sold them within two days. The next item is this Zoomer Kitty. I have sold these before. These are definitely a Bolo item. They sell very quickly. I put this one on a seven day auction. Um, I think somebody offered me 55 and I did not take it, or maybe they offered me 50. Um, I This is without the charger. If I included a charger, it would have probably sold for a little more, but this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Um, and that was an auction. But you guys, if you see these, definitely pick them up. The next item came out of a mystery box. It is a Goosebumps Haunted Mask Door Knocker. It was tested and working. There is a video in the description. And this sold in less than seven days for $45 plus shipping. The next item is this brooch. I picked this up at a thrift store. It is a spooky cat um, and ghost enamel pin. And it's by AJC. You guys, this sold really quick for $40 plus shipping. And I think I paid a dollar for it. The next item, I picked up a, um, a Viewmaster like thing that you point it on the wall and it shows up, but it wasn't working correctly. But this just happened to be in the box. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to donate the other thing and maybe somebody can figure out how to work it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, and then I'm going to sell this and make my money back. I think I paid $3 for the whole thing and I ended up taking a best offer of $15 for this and I think it sold in less than two days. The next item was this vintage Crayola Halloween boo bucket dated 2000. You guys, this one was a nice surprise. I dug it out of a mystery box. Um, I almost thought about not listing it, but I was like, you know, it's from 2000. I'm just going to try it. And it ended up selling on a seven day auction for $58.76 plus shipping. The next item also came out of a mystery box. It's these Lemax Spooky Town Trick or Treating Dogs set of five. And these sold really fast for $15.84 plus shipping. And if you go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, you can watch the video where I just dug this out of a box and there are so many items that sold in that video for great money. Um, in my mystery boxes, I don't always do screenshots, but in this one I did. And you guys would, it's definitely worth the watch. So you should, it's got a pumpkin on the front, a die cut pumpkin. And it says what sold. 
So on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, definitely go check that out. The next item are these vintage Beastole, I think it's, or Beastyle, I don't know how to say it guys, but they're art tissue honeycomb bells. These sold in less than seven days. If I think they sold for full asking price of $43.20. I might be wrong on that. I may have taken an offer, but it was, if I took an offer, it wasn't much off. Um, these came from a garage sale and I think I either paid 50 cents each or 25 cents each. I think it was, um, I was all in for three bucks. So I think those were uh, 50 cents each. The next item are these vintage Addy Pleasant Girl American Girl books. You guys, these are the vintage ones. So these are um, the older Pleasant Company. And these are all Addy. So it's kind of a set, but not a complete set. Um, well, maybe, I guess I don't know how many books there are. But yeah, I'm missing number four. And I don't know if it goes above number six or not. But um, I sold these for $46.80 plus shipping. And I think I got those at a garage sale for like a buck or two. Uh, these boots. Okay, I did do an auction the first time around and they did not sell. And as soon as I listed them at a buy it now, they sold for full asking price of $64.80 plus shipping. And I got those at a garage sale for $5. And the next item is this vintage Mr. Christmas musical holiday. Um, it's a wooden box and it plays um, songs on these like uh, these things. So it's really, really cool. This was new old stock. I did not know that when I picked it up. I had this up for auction for $99.99 and somebody offered me $200 and I took it. So it sold in less than seven days. And again, it was an auction style with a buy it now or I'm sorry, not a buy now, with a best offer, and somebody offered me $200. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale. It was like a whole bunch of stuff. I made a pile. I paid $15 for my whole pile. So I don't know how much I have in this, like probably $5 or less. Um, I did not know that it was new. Um, I didn't open the box. I just put it in my pile. It was Mr. Christmas. I always pick up Mr. Christmas. And I figured worst case, um, I could part it out or there would be something that I could sell if I could get it for the right price. So what do you guys think? Again, this is my reseller testing Bolo products. If you can come over and sub and help me get to 1K, I would appreciate it so much. And if you're bored, you can just click play all and help me get my hours. That would be amazing. That is one way that you guys could help me in such a big way. Um, most of my videos on this channel are 60 seconds or less. Um, I do a lot of shorts and it's really hard to get my hours and I need 4,000 hours and I think I only have like 1,200. So um, if you guys would be so kind to hit play all and watch some of these videos, maybe while you work or something like that, um, you don't know how much I would appreciate it. Um, it would be amazing. So I'm going to ask for that favor. All right, you guys, um, I really appreciate you being here. I thank you for watching. Again, these were items that sold in seven days or less. Quick flips, um, some of them unexpected for me. Some of them I kind of thought they would, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you. It's a different type of video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And please leave me an owl emoji if you made it this far. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.